Hey guys, welcome back to another great tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be going over thermometer islands and understanding them better. I think a lot of people are confused and they think thermometer islands are broken and they say they don't work. And I can totally understand why people are confused. And it took me a really long time to understand how they actually work. But I promise you guys, they are working just fine. And once you understand how to use your thermometer islands correctly, you're gonna be able to load it with so much that it's going to blow people's minds. So guys, let's go over this right now. If you're noticing here, I have 99982 memory used. Literally, I only have 18 memory free right now out of 100,000. That's not a lot, but that's right there in my center. So guys, to begin, every map has a center point, all right? That's the biggest understanding you need to take away from a thermometer island. You need to find where your center point is on a thermometer island. So. Go ahead on your thermometer island and look for your center point. The center point could be anywhere on your map. Mine just happens to be in this area right here, which is just super random. It's not in the middle of my POI where you think it would be. It's off to the right. See, if you're noticing over there, my memory is dropping. This is my center point. Look for where your memory is the highest on your thermometer map, and that is your center point. That is your true thermometer memory. So I'm gonna go over how you can squeeze more memory out of this, but first you have to understand how thermometer islands work. All right, so I'm gonna go over to this little island here and you'll notice, oh, okay, great. I have more than 4,000 memory free. Easy, I can easily build here. This shouldn't be a problem at all. I have tons of memory. I could create a whole little POI right here if I wanted, right? Well, not exactly, let me show you why. So going to Meteor Prop Gallery, I'm just gonna grab this Meteor, 1400 memory, easy, right? I, it's, re it's blue right now, it should place. I'm actually trying to place it and it will not place. So what is going on? Why is this not working? It clearly says above that I have enough memory, but it's not working. Well, yeah, this part is the confusing part and let me explain to you why this is happening. So the reason it's not working is because your center point is registering 99,982 memory. So guys, the key here, is render distance. Render distance is everything in a thermometer island, all right? So if you get props with a shorter render distance, you can fit more of them on your map. If you have props with a longer render distance, you cannot place them on your map. So now notice, I just placed this prop on my map. It was 380 memory, but I was able to place it even though my center point was only showing I had 18 memory. Why is that? Well, now if I take this prop, and I head towards the center point, it's starting to register that it is now gonna cost 380 memory. This tells me that that horse is not within the render distance here. So it is safe for me to use. Now, let's say you still have three or 4,000 memory in the center point here, but you don't wanna use it. Maybe you wanna introduce a end event or a new device at some point. So you wanna make sure anything you're using out of your props is not counting against your center point which is your main memory hub. Well, what I've just confirmed is that horse prop that I used is not gonna count against main memory. It's outside of that render distance. So I could even move it in a little closer, I believe, not much. I could probably land it right there. And then you go ahead and check again. So the problem is if I get right up there and it still says plus three, I'm not within the render distance. But because it says plus 380, it is not hitting my center point. Therefore, it is outside of the render distance. Therefore, I can use this horse as much as I'd like as long as it stays back here. Hopefully, this is starting to make sense. So let's say, great, you know, I have 75,000 memory up there, 68,000 memory used, so I should have a ton of memory here, right, Directing Pete? Actually, no, you do not actually have 25,000 memory free, like it states. I know, it's, it's sad, but true. The reason for that, guys, is now if you're noticing, once again, the center point is not registering these props that I'm putting in, but here is another wrench I'm gonna throw at you. If I keep adding props over here into this area, it's going to shift my center point. So my center point can actually move. Even though it's that weird area right now on my map, it could actually move closer to Vicious Valley or this desert area because I'm starting to add a ton of memory on this side of the map in the corner. So now my center point is going to start to shift and then my numbers are gonna to start to go higher in this direction. 
So guys, it the, unfortunately the memory you're seeing right now on the top of my screen is useless. But what you can do is check your props, go to the center here and see if your center point has moved. In this case, I have not added enough to shift my center point. But if I keep adding stuff, I could possibly shift my center point. And then you start to run out of memory quicker because your view and render distance, if it shifts closer, will start to gobble up more memory. Hopefully that's starting to make sense. So guys, just keep these two theories in mind. Your center point is extremely important because that's your real memory gauge. And if you get too high of memory in your center point, you can build very far on the corners of your thermometer as long as your render distance isn't interfering with your center point. All right, if you have any more questions about Thermometer Islands, ask me in the comments below. If you have any other videos you'd like me to make, ask me in the comments below. Guys, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you think I'm doing a good job. And until next time, take care.